teams play us, they know that when we go out there, we're going to give them our 100%. Maybe we're not going to be the flashiest, maybe we're not going to be the fastest or strongest, but we will get the job done regardless. And I think that's something that's pretty unique to the Taft Boys lacrosse team. You gotta work hard every week in and out to um, prepare for that upcoming game. No team is taken lightly. We play some of the best teams in the country and we are going to make sure we're prepared for that. So if you come in as a star, you can still, you still have a lot of room to grow and learn from other people and grow as a team. I chose to come to Taft because obviously it has rigorous academics and I wanted to push myself in the classroom and on the field. Because of the people that I've met on my visits, it was a really welcoming community. It was also what I was looking for in terms of world-class education combined with high caliber sports. The community here is unlike any other and I really believe that it's really tight-knit. Everyone knows everyone and everyone's rooting for each other. I think the team goals are the same as always, win the league and then move on to New England. To get there we need to, we just need to keep working to get better every day to come together as a team. We pride ourselves on being good people first and then good lacrosse players second. And that's very important because not a lot of schools have that and usually it's just get better on the lacrosse field, like win these games. But Coach Bell, Coach Shannon, Coach Madden really make sure to push us off the field as well and make sure that we're doing everything in the dorms right making sure we're keeping our studies up and just being good people socially. Playing for Coach Bell is very high intensity. Every practice is planned down to the wire, down to the second. Each drill is incredibly physical and competition-based. More, more, more spacing though, a little bit wider there, Jack. You can backside exchange so long as you're doing the same thing. He's kind of teaching us to be more than lacrosse players. He's teaching us how to be men, how to be on time. This year, everything is time to the exact minute. His reasoning for not conditioning is because you should put 100% of the effort into your drill and you should be sprinting the whole time. And he doesn't condition us so we can do that. And so that really, you know, hopefully will correlate over to when we start playing games where we're just always 100% on the field. It's very nice to play for him because he's got a strict schedule and knows what he's doing and we're ready to follow his lead. Offense, you guys can rebalance a few different ways. One, Joe can just pop rack out. Like, all you want to do is try to get down kind of, kind of like that. Like, you're going to get your hands down like this. Charlie, man, that, that's your guy. Stop, 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 stop. Charlie, this is your guy. Hey, we're open. AJ's, AJ's. We have a lot of guys on our team that are willing to push and grind through everything. Just do all the dirty work and hopefully be able to win the Founders League. The Taft Boys Lacrosse program definitely has an identity uh, of determination. We'll grind it out, and that's our, that's our identity. We have a tradition of, of grit and, and perseverance. We really are like a collective team. Everyone's rooting for everyone. It doesn't matter who's, who's playing, who's not. We're all, we're all in this together, and whoever's out there playing, we know is going to give us that they're all out there on game day. If you're on the team, you are 100% part of the team, and everyone on the team cares about you, even if it doesn't matter if you're our starting goalkeeper, leading scorer, or the last guy on the bench. The entire team will make sure to support you and continue that tradition of excellence we have here at Taft.